Hello and welcome. I'm Chai Hofelenia and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. The National Unity Party invites the three declared presidential candidates to its party convention. Vice President Jejumar Binay, Senator Grace Poe, and Administration Standard Bearer Mar Rojas will each have an hour to talk before the members. NUP stalwart Elpidio Barzaga says around 400 members are expected to attend Monday's event. NUP has yet to announce her candidate for 2016. Barsaga says, quote, it's too early to decide now. He adds, they are inviting the three presidential candidates to help them decide. <laughs> Vice President Jejumar Binay releases a new TV ad lamenting the Senate probe on corruption charges against him. Isang taon na akong pinagtutulungan, iisa lang ang layunin. Sirain ang aking apat na dekadang paglilingkod sa inyo. Masakit. Ngunit ang pinagdadaanan ko ay wala sa kalingkingan ng pagdurusan ninyo sa araw-araw, ang pagtitiis at kawalan ng pag-asa. This is the second TV ad Binay released since May. The new ad comes out before the filing of certificates of candidacy in October for the May 2016 polls. The National Bureau of Investigation files criminal charges against 90 individuals over the bloody Mamasapano clash. 26 members of the Moro Islamic Liberation Front face complaints of direct assault with murder, together with 12 members of the Bangsamoro Islamic Freedom Fighters and 52 others from private armed groups. Five eyewitnesses identify the respondents. The police operation in January was meant to hunt terrorists but ended in the death of 44 Special Action Force troops, five civilians, and 18 rebels. Unidentified gunmen kidnapped three foreigners and one Filipina in Samal Island in Davao del Norte late Monday evening. Police identified the victims as Canadians John Ridsdale and Robert Hall, Norwegian Kjartan Sekinstad, and his Filipina girlfriend only identified as Tess. Naval officials say the kidnappers' pump boat headed towards Pantukan Town in Compostela Valley. Samal Island experienced a similar incident in 2001 when members of the Abu Sayyaf group attacked Pearl Farm Resort. Singapore sentences a Filipino nurse to four months in prison for insulting Singaporeans online and lying to the police. Elio Edmund Selbelio or Eds Elio will spend three months in jail for sedition and another month for lying to police who investigated him. Belio was fired from his job in January and was found guilty of sedition in August after posting that Filipinos are, quote, better and stronger than Singaporeans. He also threatened to kick out all Singaporeans to build, in his words, a new Filipino state. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch your updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Chai Hofilenya. Remember, tomorrow begins today.